how? Ah, I didn't mean to turn that at the end of the thing. I was just, I was just a bit late. Hello, chat buns. Welcome, welcome in. Hello, next time. You are in fact right on time this time. Hopefully, my hope is that the uh, well, the intro bit doesn't get muted because I was using the standard and complex original soundtrack. I might try and do that, do like something, or at least go for something that's appropriate to whatever's being streamed, just to have some variety to the intro, I guess. I don't know. Let me go VOD spicy, maybe. Hmm. But yes, how are you all? I am anxiety. I'll be, I just knocked over my water bottle. Thankfully, it is closed, so nothing spilled. <laughs> Ow. I'm just having anxieties because I'm like, I don't want to wait anymore. I'm being, my brain's being impatient. It's like, I want to move again. So I end up spending a, a decent portion of the time before stream just going, what if I just looked up some free to use live to do models and potentially use them temporarily? But then I don't want to no, know because it's like, I like having my like actual character here but like obviously it's not as not as expressionful as a proper or a live UD model and I miss it I miss having expressions that aren't on toggles that I forget to use all of these expressions and I forget to fucking use them half the time because I'm bad at actually hitting the toggle buttons <laughs> it's hard to actually like focus on it. I don't know how I don't know how people do it how they get, play video game and hit toggles at the same time. It's wild. But other than that, I'm... Okay, I'm just... You know, I think I just need to, like... I'm also just, like, having anxiety about, like, oh, I really want to, like, reach out more, but the things I want to do for reaching out don't really... I don't know, I... I don't really want to do them with a PNG. I want to do, like, short little... Silly videos with a 3D model. I'm just, ah, I'm impatient. But I can't make it go any faster because that would be impossible. There's only so much that one person can do. But I am, um, hopefully, soon. I have not, I no idea, like, when between now and the. My birthday, exactly, is the deadline I gave up. Is, um, that happy is going to actually to get the model finished. But if I could ask her, but again, it's always still weird to ask. It's like, hey, do you have an estimate of when you're going to finish? Like, any idea? Like, how close? Because it's like, if I get, if the model's going to be finished, like, close enough to my birthday, then it's probably best to, like, hold it off for a debut there. But, ah, it's hard. Hard anxiety times when you're just about, when you're on the cusp like this. But, um, but anyway, enough of that. We've got a video game to play. Well, get set up whilst I'll talk whilst I'll start playing it. So, in case you weren't aware, they announced a new um, Ghost in the Shell anime made by animation studio Science Saro, who done a lot of interesting things. I'm trying to remember exactly what it learned. I don't think they've done anything I've actually watched but i hear a lot of good things about them and they have a kind and they generally do kind of like they do kind of like weird offbeat styles which would seem like a poor fit for ghost in the shell but then you remember ghost in the shell has like every if each of the adaptations is wildly different from the manga in its own way in a lot of ways like the original ghost in the shell manga is kind of like really um quite silly, like it still tackles some of the like cyberpunk transhumanist themes that you kind of see in the movies and in the standalone complex, but it's also, it's a lot goofier. That's just Masamuni Shiro's style, he's much, he's, those are kind of like more goofy characters in this very serious setting kind of thing. And um, there's never been like an adaptation of the manga that's like been through and looks like this new anime is going to be more since they promoted it by showing like actual pages from the manga and given the studio behind it it's probably going to be more in line 
with um the uh, original manga, which means we get undoubtedly, unavoidably, completely 100% canon, not covered over by the text, bisexual Major, Major Kusanagi. Because that's how she was in the manga. She literally has several girlfriends and rotates through like a hundred fucking off screen boyfriends and the infamous lesbian sex scene. <laughs> it was like she was saying, oh, I don't want to draw a guy's ass. But he got better at that eventually. <laughs> Uh, where was I doing? I was got distracted by the conversation, I wasn't setting anything up, so now I'm gonna have to put it for longer. <laughs> so that'll be exciting. So I just got some people talking about the um, Ghost in the Shell PlayStation 1 game. And so I was thinking, I've been like, I'd, I'd seen it before, I'd heard of it before, and I was kind of like, oh, I really want to give it a give it a try because it's very, it's all you'll see when you get to it. I won't leave. It's not like it's got this very interesting twist. It's almost like its own thing, but it's got it's really interesting in what they just chose to do. Making sure it's working. Okay. Uh, and right here, they do one. Schwa. So let's see the. Mm. Really hope that doesn't get the VOD fucking flag. I hear that sometimes does. You gotta get the place the old the good old PlayStation I think that was licensed by HQ and it's working with the um actual studio, Kodansha Studio. It's got this really good opening. I've already seen it, so I'll be quiet and let you watch it, because it is a really good opening. the intro. Mm, yeah, that should be about right. There's Hello Flea Flicker. It is like, the moment I saw this, like, oh, this game is incredibly sick. 
Like it does have a training, but the training's more like a high school thing. Let's do the training anyway, just to like... Because I don't know if it actually has a tutorial. Or it's one of those games that just expected you to read the manual. So it says training, so let's do training. Yeah, this is the game. You are piloting this cute little red Tachikoma. And you just go around shooting things. It controls very much like a, um, like Armored Core, but, like, do you... You gotta zoom around, but you can climb up walls! The little Tachikoma can climb up walls, this game is sick! But this is not the sick, I'm not showing you the sickest part yet. Can I make the target man? Uh, uh. So the soundtrack is awesome. I don't know if you can... Training complete! Class E! Fuck! And? Hmm. You'll have to prove to us that you've got some guts. We get a little animation, fully voiced animated cutscenes! P for excellent, right? <laughs> totally. I mean, I'm still gonna put my name in. I don't like it sounds close enough that it might be, but I don't know if they did get the um, anime dub cast for this. But isn't this game sick? We've only done the tutorial, the training stage. I need to rethink my stuff now. I put my tea in a place that requires me to carry it around on my microphone. But yeah. Well, let's get started with the actual game. With beautiful animated cutscenes. Yeah, right in this game, manuals. For the ride. Oh, it's Bato! Keep your shirt on, I'm coming. Yeah, but it's definitely the the original voice actors for the uh Sorry! I heard about explosives training. Us off. Yeah, the whole group spent the night trapped in a restroom. Poor babies. This occurred 40 minutes ago. Wait a minute. I've seen this building somewhere before. Hey, ain't that the Megatech Body Corporation? Yes. 18 people were severely injured when 50 grams of C6 were detonated. Some group calling itself the Human Liberation Front claims responsibility. Hmm, so they want to liberate us, huh? Real terrorists. This was not an amateur stunt. Their communique was released directly onto an encrypted security net. These are pros with hacking skills. Were they traced? The transmission originated from multiple locations in the Bay Area. That's where we're headed right now. The equipment is A4. We expect an ambush, so memorize the layout. It's a big mission. I'm sure it's a trap. I've just got a feeling. I'll bet you check under the bed at night before you go to sleep. Mato, look, see what I have. Huh? The new rookies gave me all these funny little stickers. Ah, take them off, you moron. Fujikoma, <laughs> just do your job and help the rookie. Ah, so we're like the playing as the new rookie to helping out section nine. Seems to be the case. Hold Kusanagi. Kusanagi here. Why are we the playing terrorists like... are definitely in the bay proximity. They're tracking us. Any fix on their command center yet? We can't get a visual by satellite, but it's set up in a warehouse. You'll have to get in and shut them down. Roger. The warehouse doors are secured and the building's made out of reinforced steel. The Fuchikomas won't be able to break through it. You're kidding. How do we get in then? Ring the doorbell? There are four key codes needed to enter the building. Take out the targets positioned along the outer perimeter in order to obtain the codes. Roger and out. I'm picking up a lot of dispersed light dead ahead. And judging by the heat emissions, it's a combat signature. All units, prepare to engage. God, this game is... Okay, so... Oh, that was a bomb. Do I have any more of those? 
Can you just... God, I'm just... I'm trying to... Find words, but it's like... It's too good. Everything about this is so cool. You can climb up walls. The movement's really smooth. Let's see if I hold the button then. Oh, no grenades, fuck. I can't. Okay, so holding the button down gives me missiles. Oh, ham. No, there's a other oh, It's hiding amongst the cars. One more key card. Yeah. Oh, that's a grenade. That was not. I thought that might be healing. I right, have got a map for the key card. Don't exit from the distance. Okay, so we've got a level boundary. Oh! What's this? Is this a grenade? It's energy pack acquired. I, that's, that heal me? I don't know this. Ah! I think I can. The ability to climb on everything is a bit disorienting. When you're fucking surrounded by everything. Yeah, everything about this game is so cool! Okay, I can shoot missiles at the dudes. Yeah, I'm proceeding to the warehouse. There's just bad guys on the way. Why does the dude explode? Why does it like the... Oh, we're going inside. We just need to go clear next to the warehouse. Oh, oh, it's a boss. Oh, God. Oh, it's got come up to camouflage. I'm just too good at this. I've played too much Armored Core to be bad at this. I'm sure later bosses will be much more complicated. Oh. Yeah! Good old circle straight thing. Oh, I see you get a bonus if you have grenades in stock. That makes sense. And that was the first mission. We get an... All units, someone from the enemy command's escaping. Check the marker. Roger. Oh, you're kidding. An underground sewage tunnel? This is oh boy, a a sewage level. It's like a maze in there. All units, I'm sending data on the sewer system. You'll have to split up and conduct a thorough search. Roger. Bateau and I'll search the main tunnel. Togasa and the rookie can check out the tributaries. Got it. I'll go in first, Major. Don't worry, we'll flush them out. Ah, so we're working with Togasa this time. As opposed to just on our own, apparently. Can I go through this door? No. No, I cannot. At least they're generous enough not to make you incredibly dis- Ooh. Mines. Also, considering I'm running this on... the base rendering... Oh god, oh god, oh god. 
Ah. Aha! I used the ceiling to my advantage. Ah oh shit, there's dudes in here. Like, I'm not... This is a very funny thing about how I fucking played a lot to the two is I assumed I had to do like a bunch of graphical tweaks to make it actually look how it was supposed to but turns out no that was the wrong idea the game just looked just had a shit ton of graphical bugs on the base PlayStation oh god this is somewhat disorientating uh -huh. so we go down here Ooh, night vision oh god oh god oh god God, this is so many great visual effects here. So despite being a sewer maze, it does seem to be fairly straightforward. Well, there's our chod. Oh shit, you're still alive. Like, so much of this game just, it controls well, it looks great. I wish I'd played this back in the day, I'd have been fucking blown, mine would be fucking blown away. By how fucking rad this is. Oh, there's music! Get out of here, turret. Like, you just didn't get a place like... A PlayStation 1 game looking this, like, detailed and good. It's insane. The game told me that was a points bonus for keeping grenades, and even though I don't really care about high score, I'm, I'm not using my grenades. Okay, fine, never mind. I was just like, I cannot be bothered to shoot that thing. Like, I guess it has, does some of the enemies do kind of blend into the environment a bit. What have we got here? Another grenade, excellent. It's probably my main criticism so far. Oh, big hole. We, I'm guessing we go down big hole. Yep, we go down big hole. Nope. Oh, oh, we got a big sewer boss. Oh, this is sick. They knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm really far. Oh, that's hard. That's... Mission failed. Yeah. Fuck, we have a dead space. We got... Fully rotational. Oh my god, we have to put our height score in? Already? Okay, we do. So it's just start from the mission. It's not. I was worried, like, hang on, I don't have to start the game all over, but I do have to do the entire sewer level again. There's no check, so there's no mid-mission checkpoints. Check the marker. So there's no, um, mid-mission checkpoint. Suppose as you go through... Oh fuck, oh fuck, mines, mines. I suppose that's the thing, yes, once you, you realise where to go, you can focus and realise that no, there is no mid-mission checkpoint, you can focus on just speed rather than 
just gunning down all the enemies because you probably take more damage gunning everyone down unless you're really really skilled because one after the initial highlighting and enemies don't really get that visible like you get that single highlight target and it's just like yep you know the enemies then oh that was a I've walked into a lot more mines going faster. Oh, I cannot go up the side. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and the healing packs don't heal you by a lot. Ow, oh, fuck, I have... Oh, ah, this... This has gone a lot worse. So it's like, yeah, you can go fast, but also there are mines. Because I don't want to get too close to the boss. Because <laughs> then I get hit by flamethrowers. Yeah. Stop moving out something. Ah. Uh, Ow, fuck. Oh, yeah, they really. Dude, you don't want to get too close, because otherwise you take a shit. Complex. Control room to Kusanagi. Explosives are concealed in the industrial complex. Locate and disarm them. A booby trap? They're time bombs. If you don't defuse them soon, they'll detonate and set off a string of explosions. The whole place will go up. Man, those are bad odds. Let's forget it and bail out of here, Major. Too late. The explosions will destroy everything within a 10 kilometer radius. No time for evacuation. Clear out the bombs or die. Roger. All units move out. Find those things now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Be careful defusing them. Don't mess up, rookie. Oh boy, we got to defuse. We can't just shoot the bombs. That is going to be really easy to accidentally shoot the bombs. Oh, oh, we just we we, we disarm the bombs. I was about to say, what? Why? Surely there's a prompt to disarm. Nope, nope. You just fucking. You just fucking shoot the bombs to disarm them. Right, that I can get behind. I love. Oh, that's a lot of. There's a lot of bombs. Oh god, I do not have. Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, good, they're all hit. Eh. Oh god, there's more bombs? Oh 
There's a lot of bombs! Oh god, 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 bombs, 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 bombs. Yeah, where are these lusty bombs? Oh, they're up! The bombs are up there! Yeah! No! That's sneaky. <laughs> Very good at seeing that screen. And so, yeah, I should really save. Mm. No. Always remember to save regularly. <laughs> Mission starts. V firecracker. It's okay. I was very close that time. So I can do it again. Control room to Kusanagi. Explosives are concealed in the industrial But these mission intros are so cool. Look at the They're time bombs. If you don't defuse them soon, they'll detonate and set off a string of explosions. The whole place will go up. Man, those are bad odds. Let's forget it and bail out of here, Major. Too late. The explosions will destroy everything within a 10 kilometer radius. No time for evacuation. Clear out the bombs or die. Roger. All units, move out and find those things now. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Be careful defusing them. Don't mess up, rookie. Just be careful defusing them. You literally just shoot the damn things. Uh. Oh god. But you can even see bullets on the radar, that's cool. time for a second there. I see what that... More bombs. I gotta turn around. Where where am I going? This way, this way, this way. Is it inside? 
Huh? Where's this bomb? Oh, it is inside. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> There's so many bombs! God! No, that's not even... I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered to submit a fucking high a score if it's not even a high score. It's not worth it. Control Mm. So it is very arcadey, and that you're expected to fucking. fail and try again until you can achieve mastery, I feel. Like that. Now I've got a lot more time. I feel like I can save more time if I go up here first. Wasting time. Hit the ball. Nice, 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 nice. Lots of time, lots of time. Where am I going? Where am I going? That way. Do you actually. I, I feel like the strafe is definitely faster than the, the forward movement. I don't see a way to like slide forwards. Oh shit, these more are more of these up. I bet more of these are up here, aren't they? Yep. Bombs have been defused. Time for a boss. Oh, this is what the fuck is this? It's cool as hell. Oh my god! How do you make a game this sick? Oh god, this is hard. Okay, just don't fucking stop moving. I don't want to defuse all the bombs again. Can I see? I've got a little indicator at the, the indicator bottom shows me when I'm at max locks. Don't get hit and I'm fine. Yeah! Ow. My eyes. Go 
God, this music's so good. We've identified the new enemy leader. A military arms depot was raided God, she's two so days pretty. ago and the thief was caught on camera, codenamed Zebra 27. The stolen goods and the weapons were the same. Hey, I know him. Meh. He's a mercenary who made an illegal fortune in Burundi. But I thought he changed his identity. These are files from Section 6. Our support chopper's on the way. He's so pretty! Uh, P203 is due in four minutes. I've got something here, Chief. This is real weird. It seems the Energy Ministry's interested in Zebra 27's files. Hmm. Well, you stay on that and see what else you can find out. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, the mercenary caused a big shakeup over in South Africa. I'm getting the picture now. Break time's over. Let's go get him. Okay, rookie, don't fall behind. Mm. Mission one on, for on the sea. Kusanagi to control. We've ID'd the target and we're in. Chasers, oh no! Monitoring by satellite. Enemy speed is 40 knots. Chief, can we get sea police back up? They're not you mean like colony. We'll have the rookie drop down from the helicopter instead. Huh? You serious, Chief? He's pretty green. I don't think he can handle it. All he has to do is delay the enemy while you narrow the distance between yourselves and the target. Uh, Roger. All units, provide cover for the rookie coming out of the chopper. Chopper pilot, let us know when you drop him. Roger. Stand by for drop. Five seconds to target point. Four, three, two, one, drop. Let's get them. Oh, we're on a boat! We're on a motherfucking boat! Put the Tachikoma on a boat! I guess it's a Fuchikoma is what they call it, isn't it? Oh fuck, oh fuck, they've got, they've got fucking... Oh, they, they got fucking armored cores! I guess it's more of a, um... Good, uh, good. I see how they're doing this. I am effectively... Kind of like a semi rail bit. Oh, fuck, they got bombs! Again, music impeccable. I'm having trouble. Oh, new high score, but my name down. Oh, I'm just having trouble saying things. It's just like I'm constantly just like, oh my god, this game's sick. I have to concentrate on it so much. Things is chase one. We've identified the new enemy leader. Okay, sorry, I, I didn't skip straight away because I wanted to look at, at the Mage's face. She's so pretty! Yeah, because I can move... There is some level... It's very weird, this level is very weird. Because, like, there's definitely some level of, um, forward and backwards movement. 
but because you're caught technically moving always moving forwards it's hard to like really judge it I want to go between the two tubes don't I because there's goodies between here Look at that water! Look at this is arguably more text of detail than is strictly necessary for a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah, okay, we got This is the boss next, right? Yeah. Time for the additional time for killing the chaff. Okay. This is slightly. A so when you take damage, it interrupts your like missile charging. I think. What's been. What has it? Oh, I can apparently ram them. I don't think it does damage to them, but. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm. The, I'm yeah, okay, yeah. I take more damage from getting hit by them than they. me there. Okay, we got there in the end. A Fujikama on a boat, who would have thought? I don't know how many missions are in this game. An invisible shadow, the old city. All I'm actually gonna Station have enough to make two streams. Three. I've heard about that sector. Did it become a ghost town from all the industrial pollution? Togusa, don't take your eyes off that tracking monitor. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling if we have to rely on your instincts. Shut up. Hey, what's that? Thermoptic camouflage. I told you something was fishy. It looks like... There's dispersed light everywhere. It's an ambush. Oh, no! Oh! Oh fuck, he's got a sword! I see. I figured the moment he, uh, he appeared, like, right at the start, he's probably gonna run away and I have to chase him through the streets. It's just like the bit in the movie, but with more more robots and explosions. And the guy has a laser sword, he isn't just some... But... But I feel like this is definitely... Given the fact that you're in, like, this shallow water bit, it's got the kind of same environments. This is definitely supposed to be like, okay, remember the, the chase scene from the movie? The first movie. I don't think that was a... Yeah.
This game doesn't seem to be pulling from, like, the movie or standalone complex in particular. Like, it's got the full cast, which the movie didn't have. The movie was mostly just... Oh, oh, that's not where I'm supposed to be going. It's this way. Alright, probably look at the... Objective marker to chase him. That'll probably be hide it. So these guys are like fucking cyborgs or something. But oh shit, I am dying. Well, please tell me that's health. That's health. That's health. That's a decent amount of health, actually. There he is. Again. Uh. Okay. Doesn't look like he has anywhere to go now, so as long as I don't take any damage, I'm fine. Grenades don't seem to do that much damage to bosses, though. Mostly seems to be the AoE is the main thing. And yet, this is very similar. Like, except with the inclusion of the fence, this is literally the scene where Major fights the guy after the chase. Except that guy wasn't some tricked out cyborg with laser swords. And he didn't explode. She just kind of beat him up. But yeah, that's definitely supposed to be the scene from the movie. Oh, well, chase two. This time on a speedway. Are we going to be on a car? All units, the target's in motion, proceeding at high speed. Intercept him before he reaches the city. Roger. What's the target's velocity and distance? Distance 500, speed 208 kilometers. Chief, can we do something about the display in miles? I want it changed to kilometers. Live with it. <laughs> the target. You heard the man. All units Hello, engaged. Psycon. Rookie, you lead the offense. Togusa and Bato, back him up. Why does the new kid get to steal the show? Time to put his training to the test. Okay, Rookie, we're counting on you. Mmm. It's not a... Oh, I've got a... Oh, the tank, I didn't see us. It's a tight safe on. We cut it. Focus on the road ahead. I love the big fucking... Oh. Yeah, when you're constantly getting hit, it does... I don't know if I went the right way on the junction, but... <laughs> I crashed, idiot. Oh, we're in a tunnel. God, this game is... This game is just too good.
Yeah. It's music. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh. I would like a quick turn, but I don't think the game has that. The game does not even have right hand log stick inputs. Again, very armored core. Mm. Oh. oh no, that's signs to say, oh, you can't go this way. No. Truck! Okay. Several sections of truck. Jump! Ah, fuck. I'm dead. Just all the entire presentation of this game is so slick. Save while Theron is now. As uh, I need a, it is break time, so let us save. And take a little break. I'm starting to worry, given the arcade nature of this game, I, prob I probably shouldn't have scheduled two streams for it. I don't think it's that long a game. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just think some things to put there. There's be right back.
Let's go on with mission six, chase number two. Hopefully I don't I can get obliterated this time. <laughs> All units, the target's in motion, proceeding at high speed, intercept him before he reaches the city. Right. Uh, to make more use of pops on this and the radar. On the way, see where it went. So no point really bothering with that helicopter because it crashes into a ceiling regardless. Pop over those missiles. Don't crash into other vehicles. Yeah. I see you coming up behind me. great amount to be on. Okay, that's a fine amount to be on, but I'd rather be on slightly more. I've got a dude with a rocket launcher. Why the, the, the truck's got rocket launchers embedded? Why would you embed the rocket launchers in the back of the truck like that? Like, that seemed like a weird, did he, like, it seemed like they were firing, like, straight from the back of the truck, but, like, in most circumstances, that, report, oh, everyone. major on the screen. Control the pseudo body. New information. The enemy base has been identified. Turn command over to Bateau and return to base with Togasa at once. Roger. Bateau, Togasa, did you hear that? Leave it to me. Keep your wits about you. It's their secret base. We discovered it by following their supply line. Aeropolis 2. That was the project abandoned during construction. It was delayed. Uh, anyway, that was the tower in the west sector, right? Chief, shouldn't all of us in Section 9 concentrate on capturing Zebra? Take a look at this. Huh? A nuclear reactor? I don't, I don't know. It. We don't know if this is what they're after, but the sector shows energy consumption has jumped to twice its normal level, and there's every reason to believe that that's what they came for. Excuse 
Excuse me, sir, but the AI yeah. unit reported that a tank broke down and it'll take four hours to repair. Why didn't you say so earlier? Kusanagi, rendezvous with Bateau and the others and prepare for infiltration. Togasan, widen the seal-off zone and check all major installations within a five-kilometer radius. On the double! <laughs> Saito's company standing by on the south side. Do you see anything? Nothing of any interest. <laughs> You gotta look through the other end to fit in the whole field of vision. Man, what a stupid structure to put up here. That is chief, rather ominous. The car was reporting in. Hatch him through. Your hunch was right, Chief. An official <laughs> of the energy ministry named Sawamura has been in contact with Zebra. Information on that army depot was leaked from him. And the truth? Rock solid. And another thing. Sawamura is involved with Megatech Body Corporation's development section. Good. I'll arrange to have a warrant issued while you're investigating Megatech. Kozanagi, are you ready? Aren't I always? All teams move in! I like how in this, this is clearly more inspired by- Like it's inspired by I think everything. All the ghosts and shell things. Oh, more operation. talking. Huh? Terrorist activity is reported throughout Newport City. Take oh, out did. the target and secure every block, then we'll infiltrate. That's crazy. Why don't we let city special forces take care of that? The terrorism is obviously a diversion, but nothing less than a Fujikomo class can handle it. I repeat, your instructions are to destroy the target and secure each block. Roger. Bateau can take the west block, Togus to the east, and the rookie the central block. Over and out. But yeah, they've got Bateau doing like golden three phases. <laughs> so I guess he was always a he's he's a bit of a goofy lad. Oh, these aren't these aren't mission critical enemies. That's these things I need to destroy. Designs of everything in this. You ever thought Guess the Shell needed more cool robots in it? Here they are. They're all in here. Mm -mm -mm. Where is? Oh, they on top of the building. It's fuck. Verticality, baby. Nice that it knows exactly how many missiles it needs to destroy a target so it doesn't overlock. I didn't get that in armored core. Alright, are they on top of this building then? I love the spider man your way up buildings. Comes the boss. 
Oh, and all the enemies fucking blew up on its arrival. Oh, it's got a fucking gravity shield nonsense. Isn't this the fucking tank thing from the movie? It's very similar at the very least. Hello, TTV Natsu Dragnail. Stream is going great. This game is amazing. The, uh, in the Ghost in the Shell first movie. They definitely seem to be referencing the movie more than in kind of like set pieces at the very least, even if the setting is more um, manga-ish. Well, the character design, the, how they've characterized everyone. All units, we've got a new plan for infiltrating Aeropolis 2. It's an underground city, right? Togusa, give us the lowdown. A regular funhouse maze. Nothing but forks and turns everywhere. What about enemy strength? Unclear, but it's a sure bet there's an ambush waiting for you. Hmm, sounds like a suicide mission to me. You'll pay for our funerals, won't you, Chief? It's the least I can do. Be careful. Roger, we're going into communications blackout now. Over and out. I think there's something fucky going on with chat. I just said my stream's going fine, and also my chat appears to be broken. Hang on. What else? Where's my chat? Refresh you. Yeah, I think people have had uh, a bunch of issues. Oh god, cramped corridors. The fucking spider man again. This better is, is, is progressing by the ceiling better or worse? I don't know. Unfortunately, it's, the floor is where all the pickups are. Hmm, not enough to a great start. I love ambushes! Dudes with axes at me. <laughs> oh, night vision time. Which means it's time to not be able to see shit at all. Please tell me your health. Your health. Oh, that's a lot of health. They need to be taking a lot of damage here. This is definitely a more of a... Slow and steady level. I think if I rush through here, I'm just gonna get... Obliterated. There's no room to, like, duke and dodge through this. Oh. We've made it through anyway. That's another, it's like a... Oh, this guy, he seems... quite dangerous. It's 
just like a big evil touch of coming. Oh, those are mean. Oh, it's got some optic camouflage. That's rude as hell. Yeah, those kind of like loot. Okay. I need to do more jumps. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Mm -hmm. Game hard. Mm -hmm. Counter in the darkness. Charge up my <laughs> like this initial ambush just is real rude. Oh, that's a dead end. I guess. to deal with that ambush. Might as well. Ow, didn't quite finish it off. Again, endlessly amused by the fact that they're just sending people with axes after me. I turned out the lights! these fucking foot soldiers can apparently take two fucking missiles to the face. Maybe they are. I guess they explode, so they're probably like cyborgs. Right, here we go. Yeah! The touch cameras are cute. Well, again, they're not. These are different. Touch cameras are specifically the blue ones. These are. Jump more. Top, top, top. Well, oh, that's what hit me in the last. This has a pretty big explosion. Yeah. Stop jumping on the wall. It's very rude of you. Oh, are we going to do this with near max health? Wormwood. 
Aeropolis 2 Geofront. Control, advise on target position. All units, the target location is Geofront. Geofront? You mean we're going for the reactor? Correct. Analysis indicates that it's the primary energy source for the entire tower. Yeah, but if the Fujikomas attack, won't that thing blow? Don't worry. There's an emergency fail-safe mechanism. An attack will trigger the control rods and the reactor will shut down. According to the experts, that's the only way to kill the guard system. <laughs> Let's hope they're right. Uh, this is completely nuts. All units proceed. Oh, this game's so good! I keep just being like, oh! Oh, fuck! And like, considering how quickly you blaze through these levels, I really am wondering how much of this game there is. Because surely they didn't have the budget for, uh, like a full, like, eight, six, eight, six hour, eight hour game, which is what I was, like, kind of assuming. I know you can look up how long it takes on average to beat a game, but... I don't like doing that, I don't like I feel like I spoil myself in some way doing that. I, mean, I think the forward walking is actually just as fast as the like... Oh fuck it, I've got the fucking... Got... They got the fucking MTs! Could go down all the doors to get all oh, that's they're ambushing me. Not a very effective ambush. Ah, not one of these guys. I don't know how scary they actually are, but they seem scary because they're flying robot dudes as opposed to like a tank. <laughs> use it or lose it. Probably could have used it slightly better. Oh. Falling is faster than walking. Well, oh, I did not. Yeah, I don't think you can. There's any. Hiding goodies. Maximum shield energy. Oh, I guess I'll need it now. I got I got dinged. Yeah. We're going down here. Oh, cool. Oh god. I wonder if I'll have to. I'm gonna have a look at the um. PS2 game. I don't know if that one's any good. But that one's more explicitly based on the uh, anime standalone complex rather than the movie. This one's just kind of like nebulous, ghost in the shellness. Oh, I just walked straight into a rocket launcher. Definitely takes a lot longer if you actually go. I think we're down on the lift. Nope. 
standing tells me things are going to be attacking us. Yep. Diagonal lift. No, oh, he just fucked off. Diagonal lift is over. Into another lift. Sure are a lot of lifts in this game. Fighting the reactor in the reactor's defense system, correct? Okay, I'm getting time extension for beating for shooting the turrets. Doing the fucking gravity hit. <laughs> Max, it's not Mickey Mouse arm and call. The mouse doesn't own Ghost in the Shell yet, I think. Oh god, this is. Oh no, 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 no. Now we get to go through that stage faster. Mm. Oh, that wasn't even high score. Fuck it. Could me just be an ah. Worm wood. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later, losers. Yeah. <laughs> I have to drive a fucking Tachikoma. Through legions of enemies and turn off a nuclear reactor every single goddamn morning. Pop. Oh, which way am I going? That way. On the left. They take like one more missile than you can max lock onto to kill those guys. Such an annoying amount, but oh. Alright. Time to blow up a nuclear reactor. Yeah. 
What's hitting me? So they're not supposed to be staying in one place as much. I need to destroy the towers, otherwise the um, arms, so I actually get the time. Lasered anyway. Fuck! This is hard. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I need to do more of this machine gun spam rather than missiles. Let's try that. Now again. It does feel real good to speed through these levels just avoiding enemies. That's the thing. That is good. Just leave. Because you've got this, your enemies are generally very lumbering. Or well, you've got your nimble little touchy camera and you can. Be like, oh, nope. What if I was simply fast? Except this bit. This bit you can't go faster because you are stuck on the left. Shake it, though. Incredibly speedy to the boss. Now I just need to not fucking die horribly. As I destroy more of them, they add more turrets. Can I climb on the ceiling, please? Oh! Okay, so that's not the answer. I guess I have to kind of like keep rotating around so I'm not caught in between all the laser arms. Yeah, that is a debate for the ages. You'll have to ask uh, Masamuni Shiro for that. I think he's too busy drawing naked tan tomboy ladies for that.
back it up. Always know exactly where I'm going. most dangerous enemies in the game the, mo the biggest one turns out to be a nuclear reactor God, what the fuck is going on? Ah. No, I need... I need to destroy the turrets to get more time. But hitting the turrets is incredibly finicky. Getting the turrets on. Ugh. Okay. Gonna not let the turrets get out of hand, I guess. Deactivated a nuclear reactor. It was harder than. Oop. Are you all right? Impressive, rookie. The new guy's doing just fine. Uh, huh? Huh? Oh no, that's bad. The reactor's going berserk. What? Somebody's controlling it from above. We can't stop him from here. What's going on? I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I swear. This will make Chernobyl look like a picnic if that core melts down. If you're not shielded, stay in your Fuchikoma. Everyone up top. We're gonna cut off Zebra's oh. command. Wait a minute. I'll take out the protective barrier. Go on. There's no time to do that by yourself. I'll help. No. You've got to back up they're, the They're made for the game. You heard me. I said get going. Why argue? See you later. You don't think I'll be there? Get going now. It's all game original. All the original voice actings.
Yeah, we're all. Yeah, the whole gang's in the little Fujikoma, red Fujikoma robots. The was crazy to go the reactor. I'm the one. I'm the down? player character is the one in the one that never opens and pulls silly faces. Where is it? It's the entire 97th floor. I'm relaying the data and layout to you now. Hey, Bato. Why don't I look for the sub control? There's got to be one. If we could stop it from there. Genius. Did that come from you? Go for it. That's be a nice floor. Heading for the control room. Oh no. Hurry, you're only minutes away from critical mass. Roger. Bato. Be careful. Yeah, you too. Let's go, kid. I've always considered Bato's robot eyes to be like bottle caps. No, you are not playing. You do not play the major in this game. You are the rookie. Who gets to do all this stuff? This is. It's not where I was spo supposed to go. I think. I don't know. Because being the major would be too cool. I think in the PS2 game he plays, he might play as, uh... Um... As a major. Oh god, oh god, this is... I, I, <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna love the game, the game's amazing. It's just also very strange. Fuck are these! I thought these were gonna explode if I hit them. So there's. Good is. Flamethrowers here. Oh, I'm going to lift. I'm at 60, this is a, we're on floor 69, did you see that? These turrets seem a bit shit. Oh no, we're not going that way. God, this music's so good. Shot me with all. Grenade. Is there help on the other one? It was help. Excellent. Now the question is a little. Oh, up here. That guy tried and fire missiles in a. Like vertical missiles in this tiny space. I like how they can do that. It's like, oh, if you were in a normal game, there wouldn't be any space to avoid that machine gun fire. But on this, you can do this. Oh, this is going the wrong way. See, the flamethrower guys exploding makes a bit of sense, at the very least. Yeah! Those are... Oh, yep, they're definitely bombs. Ooh. 
shooting them definitely just look like regular dudes with guns. I have no idea why they explode. I guess they did it if they've all got small bombs in them. Okay, what's... Oh fuck, it's, it's a blowjob, brothers. Oh Jesus Christ. That they're still vulnerable to cycle strafing as long as you can. Ow! Maybe they're less. Uh, I'd say they're still vulnerable to cycle strafing. Maybe not. Stay in my lock on so that the lock of this is actually fire. We've got new moves now. Which doesn't really matter when he does he's firing where I was like 30 seconds ago. Got it in one. Push up from the bottom. Let me see. All units, target is on the top floor. Go get them, guys. There it is. Target acquired. Bateau, what's wrong? Dang it, it's a trap. All units, target is inaccessible by stairs. Roger. All units, reroute attack to the slope. Kogasa. Major, I've been hit too. It's impossible to move forward. Rookie, try to reach the top floor through the air duct. I'm gonna see if I can get up the elevator shaft. You copy that? Oh boy. It's an air duct maze. Oh, this is the music everyone really like brings up. This is the best song in the game. game from the uh, music from the anime. It just sounds so familiar. Ow! Fuck, there was one behind me. It feels like I'm going up a car park. Oh fuck, I didn't see the ceiling mounted thing in the big. Oh. 
use it or lose it. It definitely feels like a very short go. This feels like I'm closing into like some kind of climactic finale. So unless there's a twist in the middle or like, ah, oh, we've got a whole new place to explore now. Oh, we're supposed to go up, not down. They put mines in the fucking elevator shaft? Devious. Oh, see, that's a good place to put one of those. Oh, fuck. It just... Somehow that mine didn't do any damage to me. Was I in, like, some kind of... I love to make turrets that shoot only in one singular direction. Let's have a lingering explosion. That's very rude of them. Ow! Oh, that's rude. But it's probably easy just to go past, straight past those. I don't know what was in this room, and I don't care. Grenade. I just saw a lot of shit was around me, so I pressed the grenade button. Nope. Ah. at the, the major fucking fired anti-material rifle in a point blind several times. It's not that of just so nicely God. Still seemingly easier than the nuclear reactor. Oh, they ran to jump bar. What's next? The darkest hour that is before the dawn. Yeah, this definitely that sounds like a end game chapter. There's no time to knock out that wall, and the clock's ticking. Bateau, Togusa, are you guys able to get the job done? Sorry, Major. I can't do much from here while the enemy's on the top floor. Same here. If we only had five more minutes. Well, rookie, you're all we have left. Make your way out of the construction site. Get up to the top floor and stop the mm. target. Don't blow it. Good luck, kid. 
Shoot a few rounds for me, okay? <laughs> Watch your back and don't let your guard down for an instant. Take care of business and make it personal. Go! Look, Maxney, why would I ever be at the DMV? I don't own a car. I don't think there is even is such a thing equivalent to the DMV at the in the UK. Give me that grenade. Off of this. Make your DMV joke. I thought you were European. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Not that way. Oh, apparently I am. Oh, yeah. Oh no, am I dead? <laughs> <laughs> pay a TV license. I don't own a TV. <laughs> yeah, this looks like it's the last stage. So. I'll have to think of something else to do for the next stream. I really shouldn't have planned two streams for this when it's this such a short a game. Also, why the fuck would I watch Down the Mambi? God, yeah, this is... They're just like, yep, yeah, final level, time to throw loads of shit at you. I mean, British people do watch down to Navi, but I don't. Because I don't watch TV, so that's the idea to pay for a TV license. And also, I, even if I didn't watch TV, I probably wouldn't watch down to Navi. It's one of those things that's just one of those popular things that uh, is just kind of shite, really. Right. I've made a mis... an error in my... Oh, I see. Oh, fuck! Sneaky! Forming? Do I have to make these jumps? I do! Right at the final hour, they give me platforming. Fuck! Oh! No platforming for the entire game. And then they're like, okay, here you are, fuckle nuts. platforming on the very last level. By the way, if you fall down, you're instantly dead and have to start the mission There's all no the way over from beginning again. And you can't rush... How was I supposed to... There's been no platforms to platform on! Fucking corridors and empty cities. Get a car, 
Yes, exactly. It's trying to be armored core. Of course, the final level would have platforming. <laughs> it's Revenge of the Cubes. That's what... Ah, okay, okay. It's fine, I can take these hits because there's a big heal here. Jump this, don't I? Fuck! <laughs> the fuck is going on here? Huh? Oh, no. no. <laughs> They're just like, hey, you having fun? Fuck you, get. Ooh. Machine gun sound definitely seems to be faster than this was made by the same people who made Jumping Flash, which was also a platforming game. In fact, that was primarily a platforming game. Mines. Right. Okay, good. Oh, okay. So is there a path here or is it literally just jump? It is literally just jump. There's no path. Great. What? Oh, there was a mine on the wall. Great. Nope. <laughs> I guess this is going to extend the length of the stream considerably. <laughs> I don't think it is actually any faster to go sideways than it is to go... go forward even though it looks like it because you're doing the kind of like
you're doing a little swoosh, like sideways slidey thing. I think it is literally just. And there's been no bottomless drops of any kind that I've been aware of for the entirety of the game. It's been entirely, entirely flat spaces that you cannot pull down. And right here, they decide to introduce insta-kill fucking... Insta-kill drops, because fuck you. Generously spaced out. Oh, that, that scares me every time. I, I want your health. I want the health you're guarding. But in retrospect, I probably should clear the hallway first if I'm on this, if I'm on more than. The thing is. Okay, okay, well, is there any kind of trick I'm missing here? Ooh, ah, oh, mate. No, okay, okay, okay. Aha! I could trick straight into dude to shoot me, great. Ah, I see. They just put mines on the side, cheap gets. This looks like the hallway before the final boss. Let's go! Oh, this one's got a cutscene intro. It's got his laser sword! Okay, that's what that does. Yeah, you really gotta be on the ball, but. Oh, damn, they can combo it. Oh, and they got sidestep. They got the hops. Oh, this robot's sick. Avoiding that is really hard.
Yeah, I got your tricks now, boy. Ow, oh, fuck, no. Come on. Perish. Yeah! Is that it? Down he goes. Boy. Oh, we're fallen. <laughs> this game's sick. But I just died. Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. So now I have to do this entire mission from the beginning. That's definitely this is definitely the last mission of the game, man. Mmm. So I guess the main reason why people don't really talk about this game is it's just very short. I guess they're like it's a the intentions for go for high scores again very arcadey. So I know the trick to the platforming at the very least. Pressing the triggers to kind of like. No, I didn't jump high enough. I just I thought I'd oh, just give it as a feather tap on the jump. <laughs> yeah, just fucking. We'll do one more tap and then I'll have a break. I think. It's, it's hard on the thumbs this game, especially once you start realizing you have to. The best way to clear mines is mashing the um mashing the fire button to fire the machine gun. Ow! And I can take a few hits. I thought remember just to use bombs. <laughs> Good night, Cyclone. I can just sidestep all these bombs. Not all these ones, though. <laughs> and also, this helicopter's gonna chase me. My backside, and thankfully, they give you a decent heal. Problem is, there's gonna dump me directly in front of some enemy goons. No, oh, that was close. I hit the wall where you can't. I'm just gonna. useless against bosses, they don't do a lot of damage, but they just clip. So they're only room clearers. Alright, full health going into the boss. 
So we've got two phases. We've got the phase where on the roof and the phase when we're falling, and then there may be a third phase. Wait, that's the attack that seems to actually hit me. Oh yeah, he, he shunts us off the edge. So you're falling down the side of a building, just like the Major does. I'm running out of time to kill them. Yeah! Get fucked! Yeah! You mean to say that this whole thing was because of a defect in Megatech's reactor? You see... Sawamura planned to collect bribes from Megatech's mm. development section in exchange for covering up the problem. So that blast thing was supposed to look like terrorism. Yeah, but then Zebra stepped into the picture. His scheme was to take over the reactor and extort money from Sawamura. Everyone wants a piece. It's all greed. He went too far when he notified Section 9 and claimed responsibility. And ever since it all started, I've lost several nights of sleep. I had no idea you were such a sensitive fella. Well, at least it was a good training exercise for the rookie. You've got a good head on your shoulders, but you shouldn't rely so much on the Fujikomas for protection. You'll catch on with practice. She's strict. She's sounding more like Chief Aramaki. It's true! <laughs> Someone's <laughs> talking about me. Okay, let's begin drop training, shall we? Yeah! Well, that was a nice little game. Yeah, definitely not very- I have to find something else to play this week. <laughs> but, oh. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, they definitely went hard on production. And then the rookie went to drop training and presumably died and was never seen again. And that's why they're not canon in any other Ghost in the Shell media.
it was very good. Yeah, it was basically like two a two episode Ghost in the Shell bit. <laughs> very standalone complex on that level. But then that, that's, I guess it's more Keiichi Mikihara. I wonder if he worked on Takahiro Matsushima. That's a name I have seen before. I think he worked on Armored Core as well. Sawaguchi! Kenji Sawaguchi, I don't think that's the same Sawaguchi out there, I think. I don't really know enough about these. This is the THQ for the Western port. Western release. Good. English Darling Stars, yeah. Make absolutely sure it was the same it was the same voice actors. It sounded like the same voice actors. Yep. There they are. Not actually credited it, but that is there they fucking Wait no, I don't think Mimi Woods was originally the major. Ri major the major was originally Mary Liz. Liz I guess they couldn't get Mary Liz for Berlin, wasn't it? So that was Ghost in the Shell for the PS One. That was very quick. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's yeah, it's an arcadey thing. Maybe let's see if I can get um. Let's see if I can do training and see if I can make um get or like a better score in the training exercise. And I know what I'm doing. Nothing actually on the roof, fuck. Approach it on this first.
don't know how many stages are there. Training like level is actually really cool. Cause it is your ah. Why well, must we fight, brother? Major, praise me, praise me, call me a good girl. I'm surprised someone can show an impressive fight even though he's been on the beat. Well, excuse me for not being flashy. Tiss! I didn't get praised by the Major! Oh. And still, that's so cute. Oh. What a good game. I guess yeah that that's that's the end of it. That's all all the game scene. Let's actually save my clear data. <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. Complete Oh yeah, that's the yeah. No funny post-game stuff, it seems. Just entirely Try and do better for big fucking points. Ranking score. Is it score by? I see. So the mission ranking is basically how much you can do in a single run. So a no death run is definitely the challenge there. But I don't think I really want to subject myself to that at the moment. Maybe, I don't know, not, probably not in the future. But, oh god. So yeah, I don't really want to do no death. I don't really like, the, like doing no death runs just because... It's, um... It's like, like true no death runs where you have to like restart from the beginning the moment you die. Because even on a short game like this... I suppose like for a short game like this it's not too bad. Because you can rush through it pretty damn quickly, but still. Eh. You can watch the opening again. Let's, let's watch the opening one more time because it's sick as hell. <sighs> and I can talk over it this time because I've seen it all before. But yeah, they definitely went for making it look good over having much of it. <laughs> but I suppose back in the day, like, a two hour old game that was supposed to be like, okay, this is actually, this is quite hard. Because really, um... It's... Once you get these sexy... I guess this is like the major controlling your fucking VR training. Thank you. 
bang, bang. This is fucking why Shibari. God, I really like, I do really like the look that they, like, it wasn't used in the game itself at all, in like the actual story, but that outfit is fucking sick. Maybe I should get a commission over that. But no, I can't, I can't afford all these commissions, I've got too many. Yeah, that's like a sick outfit. I'm at least I'll try and see if I can find a good picture of it. But anyway... That was... Ghost in the Shell for the PlayStation 1. It was not a long game, but it was a good game. Sometimes you don't need... Oh god, my chat is just completely fucked up on all my things. I guess this is, this is the problem when you have your, um... Chat be a... Uh, locally hosted file as the one desyncs it's each desyncs into it if it desyncs because of an invalid uh, twitch key or whatever then you have to reset it for every single scene because it's all a different fucking <laughs> they're all different fucking um locally hosted folders in order to actually unless i want to make them all look exactly the same on every screen Mm. So it's a bit of a short stream, but that's okay. Sometimes streams can be a bit short. So I have to figure out what the fuck I'm doing for the next um, stream. Because I, I always, I legitimately thought, oh, it'll probably be like, my dumb ass thought it would be just a, um, like enough for two streams but apparently not i was a fool i should really check these things I've got to, like, as much as i don't like checking things like how long it is to beat for a game you kind of have to when you're planning streams just to be like okay how much especially when you're doing a weekly video like okay is this an actual short game or is this gonna be much longer so oh well let, this means a uh, saturday stream i think it is will be a mystery stream who knows what it could be it could be anything now I gotta find someone to raid. I'm worried I can't. The person I wanted to raid hasn't actually started yet because, uh, unfortunately, this did not take as long as I thought it would. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, you are right. Excellent. Let's go raid my lovely friend, Rissa, who has just come back to. who just started streaming, and I did done one or two collabs with her in the past. I remember I've done the fucking, the, um, I did the uh, Portal 2 collab with her. I can't remember if we did anything else. I think we did um, something. We must have, I swear we played something together. Maybe it was Lethal Company or um, Among Us or something. But anyway, she's playing Rabbit and Steel. Which is a good fucking game that I've been playing it a lot and having my ass fucking handed to me by like, I've been trying to, I've been switching between, like, trying to progress on, uh, Luna difficulty, and also, but also, like, deciding, okay, maybe I need a break from Luna difficulty, I'll play a class that isn't Bruiser. But unfortunately, Bruiser is a very addicting class, because it's very easy to make it a one-button pass that does a shitload of damage. And everything else is more complicated, but they did do a balance patch that made, um, stuff like Sniper more enjoyable to play, so I'm enjoying that a lot. But anyway, we'll see... We're fighting the crows right now. So, um... Yeah, I'll see you all... The next stream will be, uh... Lama Lana 2. Where... Uh... I've... Forgotten what I was doing. Oh yeah, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. That's the main thing. <laughs> Probably trying to get through hell, even though I really don't want to. But I'll have to. Eh. So anyway, see you all next time. Bye.